Hey guys, what's going on? Four here again, um, part two of my video for um, my opinions on Assassin's Creed 4. Now the gameplay, I think they basically got the controls pretty decent. Um, holding right trigger just to run is a good idea because um, the reason for that is um, if you're not moving, you're holding right trigger in A and then you let go of A, it's your jumps in the SEO series as well as Altair. Um, so, right trigger, I think, um, because in AC3 you still randomly climb buildings, um, if you're running past them, what should happen is, right trigger is just sprint, and that means you can weave in and out of people, you can go close to a building and you won't just automatically scale it, you'll just push yourself off or something like that. And so that means for chase, um, for chase missions, it won't be a bitch if you just suddenly climb something, get desynchronized because you're too far away. And right trigger in A is when you want to climb something. Also, um, for the, the tricks, like when uh, Connor's running past a... Running towards a um, fence, though, and you have right trigger in A, he, like, vaults over it or jumps over it. That should just be right trigger, because that's go forward, basically. Right trigger in A should be climb stuff. So if you wanted to get on top of that without vaulting over, you have right trigger in A. Um, now, the tree running, if they integrate that into the next game... That's fine, leave it. Um, the controls are great. It's, if, if you don't know, it's just hold right trigger to run on the trees. Um, but if you if you want to jump off, you have right trigger in A. Um, as well as on top of buildings, um, now when you're sprinting, um, you'll only jump off the, uh, like a ledge if it's a safe drop. Um, so that way if you're running up to a ledge and you don't know what's underneath it, or like below it, you stop if it's dangerous and then you can choose to jump off if you want. That's good. I just think they need to change the um, the climbing controls. Now, combat. I think combat's pretty good as well. Combat is really fun, even though you're a bit of a badass and it's sort of unrealistic that you just completely wipe out 20 guys. Um, I think they should have, like, in Assassin's Creed 3, they did really well with um, people trying to attack you as soon as you've, like, started attacking someone. Um, so if you've countered and then you're attacking someone, you're going through the thing... Then they'll start attacking instead of waiting until you're done and then attack. I still think though they need to grab, um, they need to have more people attack at once. And what that means is when more people attack, like two, two, uh, three or more people attack, you can't counter because you, well, you can counter one, but you're going to get hit by all the others. You're going to have to dodge or evade that because dodge and strafe and all that in. Um, AC2 was incredibly underused. I remember I only used it on my third playthrough when I realised how useful it was. Um, but then again, it won't be as useful as if they integrate what I'm saying. Um, because Dodge, um, I, I think they completely removed that from Assassin's Creed 3 because no one used it. Because um, there was no need to. Even the heavy guys, you can counter and stun and then attack them. Yeah, so I think... Having more people attack at once uses the, um, the dodge mechanic, but I don't know how they're going to integrate that, because the controls are basically fine, but I don't know how they're going to do that. Maybe, because um, when, when one of the heavy guys with the axe um, comes at you in Assassin's Creed 3 and he's swinging around, he comes with a yellow triangle, you press B, you roll out the way, maybe that could be it, like you can only dodge when they come in, but I don't know. Um, so I think that's what they need to do with combat, make it harder, uh, because it was so easy in Assassin's Creed 3. Even with the different enemy types, it was so easy. I think that's about it for gameplay. Um, with the, the money system, I think armor, well, not really um, like metal armor, just wearing like a full body suit, but I still think you should be able to upgrade your suit, because I loved that. And even though some people hated it because it made him look, make Ezio look bulky, I liked it because it gave a sense of RPG um, and being able to upgrade so you're not just set off with everything you need at once so you sort of have to work towards something because money in Assassin's Creed 3 the only real use for it was the boats or if you wanted to die a clothes you did not need to buy a weapon at all unless the story told you to um, so I think that needs to and crafting as well so even if it doesn't do much visual stuff, still upgrade it so you can take more damage. Um, maybe add some pads underneath your chest or something. I'm not sure. And upgrading your weapon as well, that would be pretty cool. Um, crafting, still need to have that. That was awesome. I liked that. Um, and the homestead, they need to make a, a sort of a homestead. 
If it's going to be set in Victorian England, uh, maybe have it as like a village outside of the main cities like they did with the homestead. That would be pretty cool. Naval battles, I'm not sure. Uh, they were pretty fun, but there wasn't really much replay value to them other than getting full synchronization. Um, yeah. Replay value needs to be bumped up a lot. I don't know how they're going to do that. I can't really think off the top of my head. But um, replay value needs to be bumped up. If I think of something, I'll put it in the description. Now, multiplayer. The controls for multiplayer are great. Ha having the stun and attack button as the same button. So it's um, completely fair. So if you're a um, pursuer and you're, you're being really quiet, you've got incognito, he doesn't even know you're there, and you pass him and this big ass B button just hovers above your head, that just ruins it. So I think that's, that's good. Um, but they need to fix the lag. And there's still some bad lag, and the scoring system needs to be fixed a lot. Acrobatic kills, you get way too much for that shit. Um, you could be incognito and kill someone the way you're meant to, and you still get as many points as if you rushed up to a building. Even if you're reckless, like, and they're running away from you, you press X, you still get the same amount of points. It's ridiculous. Um, so they need to bump down the points for that. And stunning, um, that those points... I, I, I think you shouldn't get as many points for a stun as a kill because stunning um, is something as th that you should do as a last resort. Um, you should just think of running. But that is never going to work unless they fix the lag because countless times I've just decided to run from my pursuer and we're running in a straight line. He hasn't got the, the perk to sprint faster or something and we're running in a straight line and all of a sudden I stop my character stops because of the animation, my character just goes, huh, huh, stab, and I'm dead. And I'm like, why? How was he able to just run, jump like a freaking a frog, and just leap onto me and kill me? And they need to fix that um, before fixing the scoring system, because otherwise the scoring system is just going to ruin it if they're still lag. It should reward you a lot more for being stealthy. And um, I think um, being able to kill them in different ways other than just poisoning them, stabbing them or shooting them that would be really cool, like using the environment um, as well as in single player like sort of add a hitman thing to it um, oh, that's another thing, dragging bodies that would be awesome because I hate it when I'm walking along and I'm trying to be stealthy through a mission and I stab a guard and all of a sudden a guard sees him two minutes later and I've ruined it so yeah, dragging bodies would be pretty sweet um, Alright, now, release dates. I reckon not this year. For the love of God, please, not this year. Um, I, I don't think we need an Assassin's Creed game every year because then they don't get enough time to develop it and it's just going to end up like Call of Duty. I think they should extend the, um, the Tyranny of King Washington DLC. That, that should span across this entire year. Um, that, that gives some um, value to getting Assassin's Creed 3. Um, and then release Assassin's Creed 4 either next year or the year after because that gives the um, the development team some time to um, to make th to make Assassin's Creed 4 one of the best Assassin's Creeds they've ever made because that's what it needs to be. We've had um, a lot of um, great Assassin's Creed games recently but they haven't been as great as an Assassin's Creed game can be. There's always been a few problems with them and I think if they get enough development time they can really do this. Um, so yes. So what they should do is spend less time on marketing because I think everyone knows of the Assassin's Creed series by now. And um, uh, more time on development and all that and spanning an entire game. Um, and I think it's going to be next, it's got to be next gen. Um, so that gives them more space to work with. Um, anyway, that's all for me. If you've got any suggestions or anything, put it in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, I will be doing a lot more walkthroughs, which I need to talk to you guys about. Um, it's not a thing to do with like the laser and anything. Um, but I'll be doing a crap ton of videos this year. This year is going to be great for my channel. Um, so yeah, stick around and you will be pleased. So um, yes, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you guys later.